Hello everybody, it's Emery48 here and welcome back to another Star Wars video. Today we are finally on Season 7 of The Clone Wars, which is very exciting. I've been looking forward to this for a long time and we are finally there. Now, the timeline does not go in episode order exactly. It switches it around slightly. Uh, so it starts with episode 5, Gone Without a Trace. Ahsoka is back and she meets Trace and her sister Rafa. Ahsoka and Trace have to track down a rogue and dangerous droid. Now this episode to me was kind of just like it was just kind of there. Honestly, um, has nothing to do with Clone Wars realistically. Um, but it's good to see Ahsoka back and good to see what she's up to. Episode 6 is Deal No Deal. Rafa, Trace, and Ahsoka pick up Spice from Kessel and... Trace dumps it before getting to Obadiah and the Pikes, and they are now captured by the Pikes Syndicate. Episode 7, Dangerous Debt. Rafa, Trace, and Ahsoka escape, but get recaptured. And this kind of is a running theme of the next couple of episodes. Uh, Rafa and Trace's parents got killed by a Jedi while chasing Zero. The action saved a lot of people, but killed their parents. Mandalorians are also on a mission on Obadiah, and they have spotted Ahsoka. Episode 8, Together Again. Ahsoka bargains for Rafa and Trace to get go to retrieve the spice, which they have not smartly told uh, the Pikes that it's, it doesn't exist. She breaks out and overhears a conversation between Marge, Krim, and Maul, finding out he is on Mandalore, which... We already knew that, but explains why the Mandalorians are on Obadiah. Ahsoka plants bombs and gets recaptured, revealing she is a Jedi. Rafa and Trace steal spice from a different Pike planet. The bombs go off and the trio escapes again. They had come back to rescue her even though she was going to get out anyway. It all works out. They're followed by Bo-Katan and the other Mandalorians back to Coruscant. Pokatan recruits Ahsoka in their fight against Maul. So that was a fairly long way around getting Ahsoka involved with the Mandalorians. I guess it makes sense. I don't know if Trace and Rafa are going to ever appear again because uh, they seem like very random characters to pop up to only play a role in four episodes. So I wonder if they're in Rebels at all or not or, or if they have any relevance outside those four episodes. But it was an interesting story. A little disappointing that the the, se uh, the middle of the final season of the Clone Wars kind of ignores the Clone Wars. Uh, has has no clones in it. You see Anakin for a short time, but it's fine. It now goes to the start of the season, Episode One: The Bad Batch. Rex and Cody work with the Bad Batch, a group of intentionally defective clones, to help in a battle where the droids have seemed to know Rex's battle plans. There is a lot of tension between the regular clones and the Bad Batch, but Rex decided it's best to use Bad Batch tactics instead of the normal Rex tactics. He thinks Echo is still alive and the Separatists may be using him. The group is able to find out that the algorithm is actually a live feed coming from another planet with Echo's CT clone number transmitting the info with augmented voice. And Rex is certain that this is Echo, still alive. I really like the Bad Batch. Hunter and Tech are definitely my two favorites, um, with Wrecker at the bottom for me right now. But it's a really good group of characters that they've added. It makes me a lot more interested in watching The Bad Batch, which I also have never seen. So that is very intriguing. Episode 2, A Distant Echo. Obi-Wan knows Anakin has been talking with Padme and kind of teases him about it a little bit. Anakin joins Rex and The Bad Batch to Sacco Minor, the source of the transmission, which is a techno-union planet, I guess. They're there as well as some natives. The group finds Echo, who is wired into a stasis chamber, where they are using his brain to gather battle tactics. Episode 3, On the Wings of Caradax. Bad Batch, Rex, and Anakin save Echo and escape the planet, uh, with a little bit of help uh, from the 
local residents, I guess you could say. Uh, and they helped them save their village because uh, they also kind of were the reason why their village was getting attacked. Episode 4, Unfinished Business. Anakin wrecks the Bad Batch, bring Echo onto the Separatist Dreadnought, and he wiped out all the droids fighting Mace Windu and Obi-Wan on the planet with an energy pulse through the system, using assuring the Republic keeps hold of an axis. Echo then joins the Bad Batch, joins that group. And those are the eight episodes in Season 7 that are before Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. The final few episodes, I believe it's four more, are concurrent with Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. So I'll cover that next week when I also cover the movie. As well as, I believe the first episode of Bad Batch is concurrent with the film. So that will be on tap for next week, and I'm very excited to watch Order 66 portrayed throughout the Clone Wars show, as well as obviously in the movie. I know how it happens in the movie. I don't know how it happens in the Clone Wars yet. And considering Ahsoka's back, I think it will be very intriguing, and I'm excited to watch it. That's all I have for the first part of Season 7. Uh, the first eight episodes. Let me know your thoughts on these shows down in the comments below. Thank you everybody so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.